Yo, yo, yo! What's up, guys? So, um, I told you guys that I was going to be showing you the uh, the trailer during the daytime. Sorry, I've been MIA for a few, uh, I don't know, for a while. Um, I'm going to try to do more, more uh, videos every single day. Anyways, uh, so here is the... Here's one of the wool ponchos that my little partner in crime wears, uh, you know, the alpaca. Um, there's the the negative 35 sleeping bag. We have one of them. Um, like I said, we use it as a big comforter. Uh, we usually sleep on that side. Uh, there's my army jacket. Here's the pop-up. Don't mind those weird uh, stains. I don't know why they that looks like that, but it, it looks white and clean on the outside. I don't know what those little stains are from. Um, here is the the door. We usually don't push these platforms out. We can actually make this thing humongous. I mean, those platforms right there, they come out and they, they push out. That's what that metal thing is for. That metal thing um, kind of holds the like the little tent. Uh, there's the door. Uh, I haven't like velcroed shut like those things because it's just not hot. I mean, it's just not cold right now. There's some curtains. There's my shadow. What's up, guys? Yo, yo, yo. Um, there we go. I don't want to show too much of of this side. Um, I got the uh, I got the screen door open on my side. Here, I'll just go like up this way. Don't want to give away our position, you know, opsec. Operational security. So yeah, and I'm I'm sitting. I'm about to paint. I'm about to finish a commission. Uh, so yeah, I'm sitting on one of the other um, one of the other platforms. Again, I could push it out, and I can you know extend this out. Um, down there is like a little kitchen. So underneath underneath this thing, uh, if I were to pull push this platform this way and push that platform that way. I can actually, um, like this, there's this thing right here, over over here somewhere, <clears throat> that uh, turns into a sink. So underneath these platforms is actually like a, like a cool, on that side there's a sofa that's like sitting over there, there's like a sink, there's actually like a stove, like a kitchen stove kind of thing. Outside of this thing, on the, on the side panel of this, this pop-up, it's got some propane tanks uh, outside of outside of that that thing. There's uh, right by the hitch where where my car pulls this thing. There's two car batteries. There's two car batteries that are that are attached. So this thing has electricity. There's you know there's some uh, some lighting you know, uh, and it has a heating unit. So there's two propane tanks. Oh. A yellow jacket got in here I got stung by a yellow jacket the other day driving um, anyways oh, I flew out cool so yeah this thing has propane but the whole point of this thing um, is to uh, not rely on not rely on uh, Jackery not rely on a gas generator that we do have we have a gas generator but it's in a storage um, so I'm gonna see what it's like you know, having this pop-up, <clears throat> being inside the tent, having the the wool poncho, and the the awesome, you know, jacket, and see what kind of cold I could I could withstand. Without having to turn on any candles, without having to to turn on anything, you know. Um, we'll see. And uh, during during the 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 cool. Or during the warm um, times, uh, when we left our recent apartment because the the rent was hiked up, we um, here I'm gonna ah, no, I won't turn it back around me. Um, we stayed we stayed in the um, in in our in our jeeps. Uh, we stayed in our jeeps during the times that it was nice and cool and not too hot, you know. Actually, even the times that it was hot, like, even during the summer, like, it just wasn't that hot. I mean, it's Utah. Like, 
it just wasn't that hot. I was actually working in Salt Lake City during the summer, so um, at night when the sun would go down, the temperature would drop kind of nice. And we both have soft top Jeeps, so you know, chilling in the back in the back seat of the soft top, it was pretty cool. Like it wasn't hot. It was, you know, I'd crack open a window. You know, there was like some. I found a like nice little shaded area. Um. So yeah, man. Uh. Once again, I'll give you a little, a little breeze through. Cha cha cha. There's a sleeping thingamajiggy. Somebody could kind of chill and sleep on this side. <laughs> Sorry about the mess of clothes. I just, uh, I was just organizing some clothes from my car. There you go. Da -da 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 -da. Here's the roof. The roof is nice. Like I said, we, we actually lived. I'll try to see if I could post pictures. I'll, I'll see if I could find photos. We lived when we first moved to, um, I mean, before we, we moved to Utah. Okay, so, uh, COVID hit California, and same thing, you know, I was doing lift. <clears throat> Man, maybe I should paint while while I'm chatting with you guys. Um, so I was doing lift, and uh, lift shut down, obviously, during COVID. My, my business, I had a business for 20 years, and uh, I was actually a caricature artist. This will probably give away who I am. <laughs> I was a caricature artist. And I would do, um, oh, whoa, that was dumb of me. Um, I would do, you know, birthdays, events, you know, caricatures at, at all kinds of events. This is what I'm working on. I'm working on the uh, Edvard Munch scream, but Star Wars style, for one of my uh, Mando buddies. Anyways, uh, you know, um, COVID wiped out the whole thing, my whole little business, because, you know, we, we couldn't do birthdays we couldn't do weddings we couldn't do any of that stuff um we couldn't do anything so my business went went under uh lift went under um if you hear the rustling it's it's my uh me looking for a brush because i'm about to work on this painting right here um let me see if i can get a little stand let me see if there's a little stand over here there's a little stand uh, I can't find the stand. I know. I'll just put it like... I'll just put it like this. Oh, you know what? Let me flip the camera. Ooh. Upsick. Uh, does that work? No, that doesn't work. Oh, I guess I can't flip the camera. Okay, I'll try to just leave it right here. I'll try to leave it right here. Let's see. Alright, cool. <clears throat> um, so, so anyways, so we, we couldn't do lift, we couldn't do caricatures, and, uh, so we, we weren't able to pay our rent at that apartment, so, um, California actually had a law, California actually uh, the governor, the president, you know, they all said that, like, that land, landlords, uh, were not, they were not supposed to, uh, evict anybody during the whole COVID, and I'm talking, like, when we, had, we were living in East LA in an apartment, um, I mean, literally, I think we only, we were only able to live there for, like, a month, and then COVID hit, so, um, you know, we we were, you know, late on rent. We're like, dude, we don't know if we're going to be able to pay rent this, this time around, you know, like, because our business is tanked, you know, like, Lyft is tanked, everything's tanked. And uh, the land, the land, or the, the property management, actually, against the law, served us two eviction letters. They served us two eviction letters during COVID. And I'm talking, like, the first weeks of COVID, like, the very first weeks we're talking like right away so um you know so we actually found a little we found a little um like trailer uh it looked like a trailer that was for like motorcycles you know 
it had like a, a metal frame it had a metal frame and it had like a, like the metal the metal frame kind of like a box frame you know like each corner was metal and like the, there was like a top like square metal top whatever and then it had like wood kind of like wood um, kind of like a house you know like the wood uh, framing and then it also had uh, like some some kind of plywood and then it also had um, like the uh, the aluminum siding that most campers have like this one has aluminum siding you know and um, so we bought that and the dude that we bought it from he was he was using it as a he was using it as a let me check the camera is it still recording he was using it as a uh, mobile well he wasn't really mobile he was just using it as like a haircut thing so the dude had like astroturf kind of thing inside of it and there was like a bunch of hair everywhere and stuff but he, he vacuumed it before we bought it so I went to Home Depot with like the Trump stimulus money that was out at the time for for COVID and I bought um, like I bought linoleum flooring so I put in linoleum flooring we actually paper mache we got like Elmer's glue we got Elmer's glue water Elmer's glue newspaper and we paper mache all of the walls from top to bottom then we got some flex tape and we uh, insulated with flex tape the um, ah, there's something on my leg freaking mosquito or, or a fly we got um, we got flex tape, and then we got flex uh, flex spray, and we uh, sprayed any of the areas that where there could have been any leaks, um, where there could have been any leaks, and then after the paper mache and the spray and all that dried and all that, we took some house paint, and we painted the inside with house paint, like glossy house paint. It looked really cool, man. We left it like kind of neat, you know, and we. Uh, we bought some camping cots, like there was those, uh, like those um, Coleman, Coleman, like uh, sleeping cots, you know. Uh, we were only able to fit one inside, and uh, we were still in California at the time, and we were just like chilling in in the in the um, the little camper. Um, we could both stand up pretty well in it. We we actually fashioned like a little shower because. Um, because, you know, it was the first couple weeks, first couple months of COVID, like, uh, our gyms, like, shut down. Our gym memberships shut down. Like, they, you know, they weren't allowing people in the gyms. So we got, like, a little tub, and we got, like, a little, um, got a little tub, and we got a uh, hula hoop. And we fastened the hula hoop to the, to the top, to the roof of the, of the trailer. And uh, then we put a shower curtain on the hula hoop. So just imagine, like, yeah, just try to imagine. I'll see if I can, like, maybe draw it out or whatever. But, uh, yeah, we were showering in there. Um, and we actually had a little, uh, we did have a little camping toilet. Uh, there was, like, one of those, like, little actual toilets that you buy from Walmart. And, you know, you could do your business and then you pull out the little drawer. And uh, we found a place to dump it. But it was kind of annoying because we'd have to go there every day to go dump the gray water or whatever. Um, luckily, though, uh, within a few, within a, like the next couple of weeks or so, like the whole stimulus thing kicked in again. Ah, I got bit. Oh, tell me that wasn't a bot fly. Oh, I'm going to kill you. <sighs> Anyways. Uh, the, the, the stimulus thing came and... Uh, we were able to uh, bounce out of California and head to Utah to to meet some of my uh, Utah family members that I'd never met. So that was kind of cool. Um, that was our the little trailer that was before before this one. Uh, when we first got to Utah, we we actually landed some decent jobs, like uh, with a warehouse uh, manufacturing kind of plant thing, you know. Ah, oh, dang it, wrong brush. We landed some pretty good jobs, so we were able to get some apartments. We had an, we had one apartment, then moved to another apartment. Uh, so we had two apartments in Utah, 
two apartments. Uh, one in Provo, the other one in Orem. Not too far away from each other. Um, they're pretty cool apartments for a, for a while, but um, you know. But then we got the rent raised on us, so that was jacked up. Um, when the rent was raised on us, that's when we started living in the jeeps again, and uh, suddenly um, my my business partner. Uh, sent me some money for something he paid he paid me for some some work some artwork and um and then we suddenly saw that there was a little trailer and we're like dude let's get it blah 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 let's get the little trailer so we got it you know thanks to my awesome uh, business partner you know throwing me some scratch for uh you know, he just bought some of my paintings. You know, he was like super stoked about these paintings, and and he bought them from me. So that's what that's what the you know the dough came from. He was very being very gracious. Um. Yeah. Hope you guys hope you guys kind of dig the the story time. Uh, I don't know if I, I remember tell, if you guys remember me saying that before the little camper before we were living in East LA at the apartment before the COVID thing, we actually had some Ford Transit, I had a Ford Transit that we slept in, and, you know, we threw in, like, a, I forgot what size of mattress, we threw in a mattress, it was rad, the Ford Transit was cool, because it was all blacked out, the windows were all blacked out, you know, you couldn't really see what was going on, you know, like, and it was, you know, a 20-seater, a 20-seater Ford Transit, so we could, like, stand up, walk around, you know, and the windows were tinted so we could walk around like people didn't like know what was going down you know this the the transit was before covid so it was rad we had gym memberships you know everything was copacetic everything was cool uh the ford transit was so much fun man anyways uh i'm gonna stop the video there i'll uh i'll try to make a video tonight 